Okay. It's 4.36. I'm, um, just, <laughs> I just feel like I need to tell you what time it is. <laughs> oh, it's retarded. Having my coffee and, shh, I'm having all my croissants. Anyway, here's what's going on. Check in the, the comments. Seems like some people want to know what I mean by cardio. I suppose you could do whatever you wanted to do for cardio. If what you're asking is what I do for cardio, I'm happy to tell you that. I was thinking it would be really funny if I like did the post while I was on a treadmill and then I realized you wouldn't hear anything I said. So I'm doing it this way. This is what I'm doing right now. What I have been doing since I started really, I didn't really start working out until July. I started losing weight after I had a baby, you know, strictly doing calorie counting and focusing on that. Um, starting in, I gave myself like a month in March, um, but I had a C-section, so I was not exercising. Um, and then once my weight plateaued in the summer, that's when I started kicking it up a notch. Um, I'm not, I'm walking on the treadmill, so those of you who are afraid of running, whatever, as a side note, I have rheumatoid arthritis. Um, don't cry for me, Argentina. Um, I don't, it's actually not causing me to have any joint um, deformation, but I do have chronic body pain. So um, I'm not running. You're not going to make me run. So I'm walking. I'm walking on the treadmill, and what I'm doing is I'm doing interval training. I've been doing interval training long before interval training was even in vogue, people. Um, and so the way I do that, not with the speed, I do with the incline, because you do a little research online, you can do a little research even on the like computer built into your treadmill, and you will see you burn more calories for your incline change than you do for your speed. So, hey, why go fast when you can go uphill? So, um, now that I'm at this point of fitness, I alternate from zero to eight, zero, eight, zero, eight. And basically, I'm only walking three miles an hour. Don't gasp, I'm really short. So for me, that's a purposeful walk. When I walk outside and I've got my pedometer, I'm always, it turns out, walking three miles an hour. And that's like walking as, you know, fast as I think I can walk. So on the treadmill, sure, you can pump it up and go faster. But like, honestly, for me, I have a short stride. So if I was going four miles an hour, that I have to jog for that. That's not a walk. So, um, and if I were walking for like feeling like I'm walking at a fitness level, for me, that would be like between 3.5 and 3.7. So I'm taking it down so that I can maintain myself for over an hour. If I was doing that speed, I wouldn't be able to also do the high incline. When I first started, I was going zero for, you know, a, I'm talking about a loop on your treadmill, which is each loop is a quarter mile, so I'm talking about a twelfth of a mile, which for me, because I'm going slow, takes me kind of close to a minute and a half. Whatever, ballpark. Um, I was going zero, three, six, three, zero, three, six, three, over and over. That's when I was first starting. Now I just do 0, 8, 0, and if I have to do a short uh, wor short workout for some reason, I just go 0, 12, 0. 12, dude, it's hard. Um, 8, 8, I'm feeling it, people. I don't want to talk when I'm doing it, so it's not like, you know, you got to see what speed and incline do that for you, but that's what does it for me. Um, and I will tell you this. Um, no, I wasn't obese before, okay, but I was never this thin, straight up. Number two, my thighs never were this thin. Dude, they don't even touch. And before, I assure you, they did. And even at times where I was really fit to myself or, um, you know, before I had kids and after work, I belonged to gym, I worked out for an hour, it wasn't the same. This is different. Something about the slow speed is keeping you, I believe, and I have done some backup research to prove this, in a fat burn stage longer. Especially once you go, it is, it's the truth, people, once you have to work out one stretch for a long period of time to maximize your fat burn. Do you need to do that for cardiovascular fitness? No, so don't write me a whole bunch of comments that 30 minutes is enough. Dude, I get that. For cardiovascular fitness, 30 minutes is enough. For cardiovascular fitness, you could do 10 minutes three times a day. But for maximum fat burn people, you need to be doing it for a long cardio stretch. If you don't want to, don't do it. Don't tell me about it. I don't care. I'm just telling you this is what I did and clearly it worked. I, you know, weigh 110 pounds. Um, and I do eat whatever I want. So, at this point, it's not what I started doing, so don't get mad at me. Um, so yeah, I find this works. Um, and when I was really, really trying to lose fat, I was doing that for six 
hours a week, which would be five to six days of cardio because I actually will go on longer than an hour, so to figure it out. Now, um, now I really am, if I weren't doing these challenges right now, I would be trying to do about, um, I think I'm trying to do like four hours of cardio and then do about two hours of Pilates, which is for me the way that I strength train because people, I already told you, I've got rheumatoid arthritis and it is easier for me to do that on a joint and does get you just as strong. That's a wolf. That's a wolf. So um, that's where I'm coming from. I'm talking about a slow pace, not slow, I don't want to say that, a slow to what you might think, but a um, purposeful pace, high incline. And I have to say this, doing fast and doing high incline the whole time isn't better. That's not what interval training is about. Interval training is about giving yourself the rest. It's never getting acclimated to what you're doing. So going 3.5 and doing an 8 incline the whole time actually doesn't burn as many calories as going 3.5 and going 8 to 0, 8 to 0. You don't have to go 8 to 9, 8 to 9. That's not that much of a change, people. I'm not kidding. You need to give yourself a little bit of a rest in the interval. That's what makes it work. Okay, yeah. so yeah. that's what we're talking about. Look, okay. Bye.